Hello yogis, welcome back to my YouTube channel Vidya Malati and today we're going to be doing a how to. How to a tripod headstand. Uh, it's very important that you know how to do a simple bound headstand or a simple chirshasana before you get onto a tripod. I'll also give you a variation where you can press up so you know your legs going up like that. Um, so yeah, if you haven't done the bound chirshasana, please go back to my videos before. I've made a beautiful tutorial about how to do just that chirshasana. So uh, let's get on to tripod headstand for now. Um, so very importantly, what you need to be doing here is uh, to make a tripod. So your hands, both your palms make one part of it. Uh, again, the palm distance will be catching your elbows, putting them on the floor and that's your palm. That's where your palm goes. Now, from here we need to make a tripod with our head. So it's like a triangle. The palms go here, the head goes right in the middle. Of course, it's the same as the Bhangshir Shasana, your, your, your crown, not your forehead, not the back of your head, your crown goes onto the floor. Uh, the basics remain pretty much the same. It's just that this time, instead of your, you using the bound, you're using a triangle. So, yes, palms, uh, fingers are spread apart, elbow distance with your palms. It's very important to keep your elbows hugging in. A lot of people try and do it like this. Whatever splays goes down. You're wanting to go up. So, you're going to be not splaying your elbows out, elbows in. So, elbows are going in, in line with your uh, wrists. Your head becomes the third part of the tripod. From here, you just lift your hips up. That's the first bit. So, head goes in the center, lifting my hips, walk my hands, walk my hands until my shoulders and my hips are in one line. Now, from here, Take the left foot up, keep that left elbow, or keep that left knee on your elbow. See how this works. Bring it down. Next thing, do the same thing with your right side. Bring that down. At some point, again, not playing the elbows out. Not much. Um, you might be able to take both the legs up. Stay here. Only if this is comfortable, you'll come up. My shoulders are not going in. My shoulders are away from the ears. My shoulder blades are pulled outwards. So almost wrapping around my ribs. And come down. So this is the basic of your head. Any headstand, shoulders are pulled away. Shoulder blades are protracting. So they're going outwards. And creating space here you don't want to hurt your neck at any time. The head only has 20% of the weight at any given point in time. So then, I'm going to practice this again. Palms are elbow distance apart. Head makes the third side of this triangle. Lift my hip up. Walk, walk, walk. And then one knee comes up. Second knee comes up. If this is very comfortable to balance, Use your core, lift your legs up. Stay here for as long as you feel you're comfortable. Again, shoulders are away from the ears and then lift the feet up, legs up. Legs are really strong energy through my toes. Don't collapse into the floor, lift the shoulders up. Core pulled in, knees tight, thighs pulled up, kneecaps pulled up. And then we can come down exactly like this. Elbows are still facing in. You come down the way you go up, you rest your forehead onto the floor. So that is basically your tripod headstand. Like from here, the next variation we're going to do is just coming up with our legs straight. So once this gets easy, we can get into tripod like this. So again, Fingers are spread apart, elbow distance are your hands, head is in the center, walk your feet in, walk them in, 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 elbows in and then you just take both the legs together right up. 
core is really pulled in, legs are strong, shoulders away from the ears. That's how you come up and then come down exactly the same way. The hips go slightly back when you come down. Easy. Again, rest the forehead on the floor. Everything else remains, remains the same. The last thing we'll do is the press up. So, for that. The principles on the floor remain the same. I really like to come into this from a forward fold, a wide legged forward fold, Prasarita Padutanasana. I'm holding my waist, my toes are slightly in, my heels are out. Kneecaps are pulled up. I dive down from my hips and then I keep my hands, my palms right in the middle of my feet. Again, they are about elbow distance apart. Measure them. And then from here, the third side of my tripod, my head comes down. Once you're here, again, shoulders away from the ears, shoulder blades rotating outwards, elbows hugging towards the midline, and hips going exactly over my shoulders. My feet are almost off. Almost off. And then, pretty much coming into a, a split. Even if they don't come into a full split, no problem. Coming up easy, easy, easy. With control. Legs are pointed strong, straight. Shoulders are away from the ears still. Stay here for another breath and then come down really slowly. The negative is where it really is working. Your core is working. Your legs are still very strong. Very slowly put your feet down and then come into a rest. Forehead on the floor. Release the neck if there's any stress if you feel the shoulders. So the triceps are the ones that are really working in this one. Triceps, core and your legs as well need to be super strong. So that's, so the really important things to remember is this is your crown. This is the distance between the shoulders. You make a tripod between your elbows and your mid of the crown. Shoulders are away from the ears. So really long neck. Shoulder blades are rotating outwards. And elbows are hugging into the body because when you're going up, the elbows tend to split. So we don't want that. Core really engaged, thighs really engaged. And that's your tripod head step. Thank you very much for joining me today. And let's see you again very soon. Go ahead and do look at the bound headstand if you really want to get into headstands. Thank you very much.